Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Heart Aries, my name is Chelsea and this is a channel where we do all Aries readings. And today we are going to be doing your divine timing message. So whenever you find this message, there may be a message in here that is meant for you. Um, let's go ahead and get started here. Oh, I just want to let you know that the, um, and I've been forgetting to announce it <laughs> this week, but the mini readings are open. If you would like a mini reading, the con it will be pinned. The information will be pinned in the comment section. Okay. Also, because the day today is the last day for the giveaway that you may enter that as well. Okay. All right. So when you're seeing this, so let's take a look here. Let's get this together. What do we have here for Aries? What do they need to see? We have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. And I'm using the romance angels because today is the day of love. We have you deserve love. Okay. You are lovable. And we have expressed your love. Okay. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Staying optimistic here about your love life. See, oh, let's use this. What do we have here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising? We have the hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, and repetitive, persistent, and working on it. So someone has given someone many chances with give your relationship a chance and the hammer, clarifying the hammer. Somebody has given somebody many chances. Let me see about you deserve love here. Heartbroken. Yeah. Every time that you deserve love card comes out for me, it's kind of like an indication that somebody was settling, dating down, or they weren't. Um, they weren't being treated like you were supposed to be treated, right? You weren't being treated like you deserve to be treated. And sometimes that means that your boundaries need to be activated, right? Because you were letting a lot of stuff slide, um, that didn't need to, and you were ended up, you were ending up heartbroken. And I feel like because of a result of that, somebody's self-esteem could have been really shot. Um, so we got a deeply hurt, sad separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. All right, let's take a look here about Express Your Love. Let's see. And we have photograph on top of Express Your Love. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new, make new memories. So somebody here is probably going to come towards you to express themselves to you after a long period of kind of like fantasizing about you, reminiscing about you. Okay, looking at old photos, maybe they're feeling really nostalgic. At the bottom of the deck, we do have stabbed in the back, though, okay? Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. And underneath that, we have separation. So someone's missing you. Mm. All right. So what do we have here for Aries? Sun, moon, Venus. All right, sun, Venus, and rising. What do we have here for Aries? Yeah. What does Aries think you know about this situation? Oof, there's a there's a there's a love relationship here. There's a deep soulmate connection here. Deep soulmate connection could be twin flame. Look at that in the three of swords. Somebody is heartbroken. They realize that somebody is their counterpart. They realize that somebody like they're supposed to be with them. This is divinely orchestrated connection here. What does Aries need to know about this situation, spirit? Oof, the Empress, okay? Somebody here wants another chance. I'm feeling like somebody here is elevated. I don't know if it's you or them, Aries, but somebody here has elevated their self-worth, their self-love. They are feeling like, and this is the Empress here. This is like a healing. This is a healing energy. So somebody here is feeling like they are rejuvenated, reborn again. And this is after a period of healing, after some sort of heartbreak. I'm seeing the King of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. Well, what's coming toward well, what's coming towards you, Aries, is the Ace of Swords. Somebody wants to communicate with you. They want to tell you some sort of truth, and they possibly want a new beginning. Let's see here. Tell oh, look at that at the bottom of the deck, Queen of Wands. So they may want to tell you the truth about I hear Jezebel. I heard Jezebel, but they may want to hear the truth about someone else they may have been dealing with, um, opposed from you. Um, tell us what how would Aries feel about this? 
energy coming in. Ace of Pentacles. You may accept this offer, Aries, and you may be willing to work on this. Um, yeah, look at this. You may be willing to work on this partnership. Ace of Pentacles, if this person is offering you something real and a real commitment. The Six of Wands. Like, this is, I don't know what happened here, but somebody has had a whole change of heart. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. You know, and this is why I wanted to, this is why I wanted to clarify because I was like, this is seems like a new person. We got the Queen of Pentacles and now the Ace of Wands. You got three aces here. Ace of Swords, and I'm seeing the Six of Wands go off in a different direction. So tell me about the Six of Wands here. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Six of Wands. And the two of swords. It feels like someone here new is coming in. And then there's someone here who whoever walked away to a the other person, other man, other woman here. There's a situation here of being blocked. So tell me about this. And maybe even stuck with the devil energy. This feels like a new energy, to be honest, Aries. There is someone coming in. And when I ask, I'm like... What does Aries want to do with this situation? And the Ace of Pentacles came out. The Spirit's saying they want new, okay? So tell me about, is this a past person or new person for Aries? Or both? We have a lot. Yeah, so you're letting go of the old with the Five of Pentacles. Oh, I saw the Five of Swords. And the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Someone's going to make you an offer, but I don't feel like it's going to be good enough with the Page of Pentacles. This, tell me about the Ace of Swords. Who's this coming in with this truth? The Temperance. This is a new beginning. And the King of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new beginning. I, Aries, I feel like this is telling you that there is love after heartbreak. There is love after heartbreak and healing. There is someone coming in from the past with the Five of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles that it just feels like their offer is not going to be good enough. And with the Six of Wands here and the Queen of Wands and the Two of Swords and the Devil here, this feels like somebody here who likes... Let me just explain how this energy is so you know who this may be. This feels like somebody who likes a lot of attention likes a lot of attention from either the opposite sex or whatever they're into. They like a lot of attention, even if, and even looks like, even if the people that they're after not really into them, that's what I'm getting here. That somebody here has blocked their chance with you because of their temptation, because of their inability to not give into temptation with the devil here and the two of swords. So I feel like Spirit's wanting to let you know, hey, if you wanted a chance with this past person, you could have it. It's coming, but also a new. That's why the aces just kept coming out. The Spirit wanted to get my attention. This is, you got somebody really new coming in. Ace, look at this. All three aces came out. Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. New, new, new. Even when I clarified the Ace of Swords, whoever's this truthful energy coming in, this is divinely guided with the Temperance and the King of Pentacles. And then I'm, I'm seeing here, this the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. There's a, there's a match. And this is all because someone here has elevated their self-worth, their self-love here. Some of you could have been married in the past because I keep seeing the Hierophant in reverse. I just heard, don't let nobody come back to you from your past. So... All right, so that's what I have for you guys. This past person, definitely, whoever it is, I thought I'm like, I was about to give them a benefit of the, of the doubt, but maybe they changed, but all those aces started flying out. So Spirit wants you to know that you have something new coming in, Aries. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys. Take care.